Christ 17 TV in the it in the house, baby. You know what I got on? I got the throwback, so we're in our mode. Today, July 7th, my little brother turns 40 years old today. But I ain't talked to him in a minute. He ain't reached out, but you know, still love you, little bro. No matter what kind of asshole you being, it's all good. It's all love. You ain't return no calls, but it's all good. Whenever that you feel like it, I'll pick up the phone, kid. But until then, be safe and happy birthday. But today we're gonna go in the time machine and tell you some shit about this little dude, my brother. Some crazy shit that happened to him. So we're gonna get in the time machine, baby. We're going to early 1998, baby. And I'm talking about 98 in the Bronx. Prospect and 168th Street. See, we had moved from the TL, right? And we moved to a part of the Bronx we never been to. And it was a little different there trying to get comfortable there. I'm not going to lie to you. My mom brought a dude she was fucking with her old man from San Francisco. And he had a little drug problem and you know we got over there and you know it, in the Bronx is like any other place drugs is everywhere but in the Bronx is everywhere everywhere you can find anything you need so we had this little spot and it was it was fucked up spot I'm not gonna lie it was like that we shared a room and I had my dog I bring my dog from Tenderloin to the Bronx so we had my brother, me, the dog, my mother, and her old man. And at that time, I was like drinking a lot, acting dumb when I drink, all kind of shit, but that's some California shit. In the Bronx, you don't get drunk like that and act no fool, cause motherfuckers will act a fool right along with you. So, my brother, He's going to school around the corner. You know, it's kind of hard for him to make friends. It's even hard for me to make friends. So his best friend was Corrupt, which was our dog. So he used to always take him to the park, and everybody used to fight dogs then. So used used to be this kid, I forget his name, but he had a dog named Rock. And uh, he always was trying to fight Rock with Corrupt. And Rock was a big fucking dog and looked vicious. So we wasn't trying to fight our dog, period. So my, so my little brother used to go to the park, big park. I think it was Cretona Park. Yeah. And he went over there and he's a kid. He's like maybe like 14. And he comes back and he's like, man, I, I seen some crazy shit. So I guess he's seen dogs fighting and dogs getting killed over there and motherfuckers just leaving a the dead dog there and gone. And it fucked him up a little bit because he loved his dog. And they always were like, you want to fight your dog? He's like, nah, nah. But that's what he used to like to do is go out, walk the dog and go far too. This little dude would go far. You know what I'm saying? And that was his thing. His dog was his best friend. And I was into my own shit. And later on down the line, his mother flew out there. And no, no, no. I take that back. My future baby mama flew out there. And now, now she's staying with us. So now it's an extra head. So now it's kind of hard for us to have any kind of space. So one day she happens to do a little test and now she's pregnant. So now not only do I have a dog, a little brother, and a pregnant old lady at the same time. Why? My mom is dealing with this guy and he's on drugs. 
drugs is all through here and it's a lot of problems going down because he's owing people money and he's paying the money and now they say you got to pay twice or they're going to do something to him or maybe do something to my mom so it wasn't a it was the worst place i'm gonna be honest where i ever lived in the bronx hands down my mom even went to the store one time just to be getting some dog food and like something to drink and the motherfucker pulled out a fucking knife on her and robbed her for eight dollars so all she had was eight bucks the motherfucker said i don't want to hurt you but pulled the motherfucking knife out on my mom i'm talking about three doors down three doors down from where we live at pulled out a knife took her money that's the kind of piece of shit place we landed at so we had a box of bullets right that we had from california that i don't know how we got them back to new york i don't even know why they were in our luggage but it went under the plane it, it's like in 97 so this is way before 9 11 so you can get all kind of shit on the plane so i don't know how we got it back how it got packed in there or anything but like I said, my brother didn't have too many friends. So he started playing with the bullets. And we had like a um, like a wooden dresser drawer. It was real short though. It was like probably like four feet high tops, maybe with like three drawers or, or like two drawers. So this kid, being a young kid, being dumb too, too bored, he takes the bullet let me put this down for a second. Takes the bullet, puts it on top of the dresser, and takes a hammer and thinks he's finna shoot it through the drawer. This way, he's thinking up here. <clears throat> so he puts the bullet, and he smacks the top of the bullet. He shot himself. Without even having a fucking blick. With a hammer and a bullet. So now... He got bullet fragments in his hand. He shot his hand. Now we got the police here. So now I got to take these bullets. <coughs> hide the bullets. Cops come. And they're like, how'd he get shot? So now they want to search the room. But we got the dog inside the room. There's no warrants. They can't come inside the house. So we had to say he found the bullet somewhere outside and bring it inside the house. Cops wasn't buying that shit. They knew he didn't find no shit. They just knew it was like, okay, look here. Where did you find it at? And when you found it, why you didn't bring it to your mind? Just all kind of shit. You know, they gave him the third degree and shit. But he had to go to the hospital. And to this day, he has a piece of bullet inside his hand. He was only like, I want to say maybe 14 tops. And that's a story that he hates when I tell him that. You, you little dumb fuck, you shot yourself inside your hand being dumb. He hates that shit, but you know, we old now. I got to tell some old school throwback shit, you know what I'm saying? Time machine shit. Hopefully, you see it, kiddo. Happy birthday. You laugh, you know what I'm saying? I don't hold no grudges. Only you hold grudges, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I, I just want to say the time he shot his motherfucking self in the hand with a... It, and the cold part, it was a hollow tip. So the motherfucker had a hollow tip 4-5 and smashed it down. Smashed it down. Smacked that... Wait... I'm not sure what kind it was, but I do know the shit was a motherfucking hollow tip. I think it might have been a nine. I'm not sure. Who knows? I don't even know where the fuck we got the box at. So we got this shit in California. So now police is there and they want to kind of like question moms like crazy like that. You know, they wanted to take her in for some shit like like that she had something to do with the shit or I knew something or somebody in that house knew something that 
he, that where he got this shit at. And the truth was, we did know, but we didn't know his little ass was fucking gonna try to put a hole through the dresser drawer with a bullet and a hammer. It's like this, bam, bam, bam. Hit it one time, that shit shot him right in like his palm, like here somewhere. He lucky he didn't blow off his finger, his, his fucking thumb. But you know, this is a lesson to kids. Don't you ever think you can take a fucking bullet and hit the shit with, with a hammer. You gonna blow your fucking finger off or you gonna shoot yourself. That's not gonna work. That's only shit you see in the movies. So with that being said, on Christ 17, I had to give you a throwback moment with Lil Bruh doing some stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, when he sees this, he gonna laugh or he gonna be mad. But you know what? That shit was like 30 years back, kiddo. So, hey, who cares? You're alive. You didn't blow off your fucking thumb. But guess what? He never fucked with no bullets or no hammer or no shit like that. Never again. Never, ever again. And that's just a little... A little throwback, I wanted to give you some history, and July 7th, happy birthday, kid, happy 40th, hope you have a great day, even though you ain't trying to call nobody, it's fine, I don't hold no grudges, I still love your ass, and till the next time we meet, kiddo, I'm Christ17 TV, and I'll definitely catch you on the motherfucking flip side. Everybody, enjoy your day, thank all all my subscribers for tuning in always mad love hit the like hit the subscribe because it don't cost a dime to fuck with christ 17 player catch you on the flip side